So for the first uh, coil of the intermediate frequency, I'm going to use that yellow coil, uh, yellow core. And I will put the original number of turns was 70 uh, at the Technoton coil. So uh, um, to be able to tune it with one nanofarad on this core, I think I will test 65, see if it tunes. So we're back with the last filter I've just constructed. This time being just a parallel filter, just a parallel LC uh, group, I'm injecting the signal through a very, very small capacitor, only 10 picofarads, which at uh, 455 kilohertz, it's very small. Uh, but uh, yeah, the transistors are Romanian EFT317. Uh, I like those transistors. So uh, let's power up uh, this, uh, this thing as a small signal. And let's try to tune the yellow coil. See if we can get anything. Yes, it's working. Slowly, 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 slowly. I guess that's the best we can have. If we're going lower than that, it's detuned. So let's come back. Here is the best position. Let's try to retune the others. It should not move, but no one knows. No, it's worst. Go back. Yeah, here is the best. And the green one, uh, no, not and no improvement. So we'll stay on the same position. So we came to the most difficult part. To build the oscillator coil, uh, the oscillator is traditionally built uh, using red uh, coil, red um, core coil. So that's what I'm going to use, me too. Uh, on the original uh, data of the Pescarus radio, uh, the oscillator coil uh, had three beginning from the earth from the ground um, three turns and then you had the tap for the emitter uh, i'm saying you right uh, yes the tap for the emitter of the transistor and then after that three turns another 70 turns no, three plus 70 turns uh, was the, um, the original winding and on the secondary there were seven turns uh, which we which go to the collector of the transistor so I will I will uh, wind the secondary uh, the winding the last one those uh, going for the collector why because in case it doesn't oscillate uh, I will have to switch the terminals of that uh, of that coil or you can switch the direction of the winding you have you you can reverse the the winding so that you can ensure um, uh, positive feedback so that it uh, it comes to oscillation uh, so three turns 70 and seven uh, at the end let's go well it is ready the oscillator so let's turn it on and see what it's happening and 
well unfortunately nothing it's not oscillating let's uh, let's switch the l uh, the secondary uh, coil let's switch the the direction of that coil so we're back again after switching the direction of the secondary coil of the oscillator and let's test it let's go there and voila beautiful sinusoidal signal at one megahertz which is just fine for the beginning we'll tune it a little bit later so there it is finished uh, ready to go to test and to to set up uh, the last step uh, oh, not the last step one of the last steps is to tune the local oscillator uh, the the local oscillator is 455 kilohertz upper than the received frequency um, so i'm gonna connect uh, the oscilloscope uh, here and we're gonna go to the oscilloscope and we see that we are around 1.3 megahertz quite low quite low uh, let's try to climb a little bit i'm tuning the coil here you see i'm tuning the coil and the frequency will increase slowly as it does and from the coil that's the maximum mm. I think I have a little bit too much turns. Uh, I should remove maybe 10 turns from the oscillator coil. Let's try the variable, the, the semi variable capacitor, the trimmer. Uh, what we can get? Nothing. It stops here. 1.8, uh, 1.9 megahertz it's uh, is the best i can get uh, so that's a little bit uh, too low 1.9 we have roughly 1.9 uh, it should be 2 megahertz uh, it's 1.89 not far it can be tweaked from the coil removing a few turns uh, and the lowest frequency should be around 1 megahertz uh, and it is it is okay in the lower part of the band will work just fine uh, even uh, even lower than it should so that's uh, that's the problem I should remove a few turns maybe 10 turns from the coil I will not do that uh, right now I'm not uh, changing the coil even if um, i will not reach the highest frequency of the band i don't really care about that all i care is to have a, a good uh, a good signal a good reception and now for the final tuning of the receiver we should tune the input coil the antenna the ferret antenna the input coil for this uh, I am uh, at the moment with the variable capacitor fully open and uh, I will start the receiver. I will power up. So I guess you can hear a hissing noise. That means that it's working. And now I'm going to turn the variable capacitor to receive some stations. That is a local station, a very strong local station. We should not stay on that one for final tuning. We should find a weak station. So I'm going to continue to to decrease frequency. Here we have a weak station. I don't know if it's weak enough, but we have one.
and another one. Let's stay with this one, weak station. And now we're gonna start to remove the ferrite road so that we will have a perfect tune between the input circuit and the oscillator. Because at this moment we're having the local oscillator uh, 444, uh, uh, 455 kilohertz uh, upper than the received station, but the input circuit is not tuned yet to that frequency. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm holding the coil and I'm drawing out the ferret. A little bit back. That seems to be the maximum. It works just perfect. We're uh, nine o'clock in the afternoon, in the evening, in the matter of fact, it's in the evening, but we're still having the daylight. Uh, and uh, I'm coming with a new test. Let's see what uh, I can, uh, what station I can pick with that radio. So that was a huge amount of radio stations which can be received with uh, this AM radio uh, Pescarus, which was built uh, in Romania during the socialist uh, era. Well, as I have promised, I'm coming back to you with the coil, uh, the first coil of the input coil data. Uh, 
it has in on the primary winding the one that goes to the variable capacitor it has 65 turns and on the secondary uh, coil which goes to the input to the base of the first transistor it has four turns so 65 with four uh, are the turn number of that uh, ferret antenna um, of the coils of that ferret antenna and i also promised i will give you the schematic for the um, uh, signal generator for the 455 kilohertz uh, uh, generator to uh, in order to align uh, the intermediate frequency uh, chain uh, so that's what i'm using of course i switch the transistors you can use other transistors too you're not obligated to use those ones but they are working fine uh, this schematic it's okay so <clears throat> that's what i was using and here ends the presentation of this Pescarouche uh, radio receiver. Uh, I must admit that I'm surprised by the quality of the signal <coughs> and by his performances. Uh, it's an interesting schematic, uh, which I recommend uh, for the beginners, or why not for your kids if they want to play with electronics. All the best from Romania, 73, bye-bye.